Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life guys. So in this video, we are going to be making a pumpkin wreath. Okay, now I did one previously using the wooden pumpkin. So let me just go ahead and show you that. This, I have a previous, I have a video I already made for this. This came out absolutely gorgeous. So I used the wooden pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so look out for that video guys. And uh, yeah, that's coming up soon. So I figured I'd just place it there so you could see it. That came out gorgeous, guys. But today we're going to do one on a bigger scale, okay, one using one of their pumpkin wreath forms. And so let's just get started, guys. I'm very excited. Everything I'm using to create this craft, guys, is down in the description box below. So let's jump into it. I'm just going to tell you a few items of what I'm using. I did go ahead and make... Um, a pre, it, it looks like a swag, so we are going to decorate and embellish this pumpkin with this swag, and I'll tell you as soon as we get to that part how I, how I put that together. Again, we're using this wreath form. The Dollar Trees came out with it already. Some of them, some of them did, and I guess some of them might not have, but we did. Okay, so I grabbed one, and it's a pretty large. Okay, this is a pretty large one. I decided to go ahead. I did cut some out of one of their uh, Buffalo Check uh, Fat Quarters that they had. I cut some strips. So we're going to be embellishing with this. So this is something that this micro so, uh, microfiber towel, you can get this in the auto section. I And it's, all, it's the white one because they do have a cream color one. So we're going to be using the white one to cover the pumpkin. Okay. I'm going to go a different route today, so we're going to cover the pumpkin. It's going to be a little bit more glam pumpkin. So we are going to be using the hot glue gun and doing this all the way around the wreath. So let me go ahead and put my fingers on so that we can get started. I am going to turn it this way and then fold it up. I could not help myself. I had to make a glam pumpkin one way or the other. <laughs> so we are going to be making all kinds of different all kinds of pumpkins, mostly farmhouse, but I did have to make one glam one or glam like. came out really neat. The towel was just enough, okay, for us to fold it all the way around that wreath. That's a very big wreath form, okay? Hold on. I'm going to use one of the strips of this buffalo check, or maybe two. I'm not really sure how much, how much is going to need. And we're going to wrap the top of that with the buffalo check ribbon just to cover the wire. The silicone finger. And then, since we have some excess here, we're going to put some hot glue. And then we're going to fold this over on itself so it looks finished. So look guys, this is what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful, guys? All right, so now what we're going to do is you see how we have, we have these, um, these rows here for the pumpkin. So I believe I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, 
six. Let me see how many rows we have. We're going to start out with these two here, and we're going to glue these down. So I purposely cut them. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I cut the strips using uh, a fat quarter, which is right here. Let me just show you real quick. Okay, this is one of the fat quarters. The Dollar Tree came out with this last year, and I just cut a piece, and then I cut it into strips of two rows. Okay, so because I'm going to put the floral arrangement on the top, I was thinking of doing it on the side, but I'm, I decided to do it along the top because I think it would look much better there. We're going to start with the ribbon, with that buffalo check ribbon. We're going to start from the bottom. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't reach the top is really what I'm trying to say. We're going to glue those down first. If we have extra, we'll take care of the top, but we don't really need to. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to start with this one. This one probably will make it pretty much close to the top. So what we want to do So all we're doing is following the wire, okay? So you just want to put glue right on the fabric, right down the wire line. That's all we're doing. Then we're going to follow that up the wire and then just smooth it down with your finger onto the fabric. Let me move this out of the way, guys, so I can move this glue down over, okay? Because you're going to need a lot of glue. So now we're going to fold this over and then we're going to go more glue on the fabric bring that over it's not pretty guys so we're using the buffalo check to decorate those rows on top of that white looks absolutely gorgeous guys This is where we are so where we're at so far. And let me move this out of the way. I don't really need this. Okay, so guys, before I continue up here, okay, I want to go ahead and I want to glue this. But let me explain to you what I did here. I took the wooden the wooden beads from. Let me get this finger off. I cannot feel my finger when I have that on. Okay. Um, I took the floral wire and I, and I bought it in the gold because I love gold. <laughs> it's either gold or silver, but I, I figured I'd do the gold. Then I twi I cut the length of the piece that I wanted and then I just twisted the end so that the beads would not fall through. Okay, took these beads out. These are the wooden beads from the Dollar Tree. They come in multicolor. Took it outside, spray painted it in black. Okay, then I fed it through the wire and then I twisted this end. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to, because it's you can manipulate the wire, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to, well I guess we can save that for last, is we're going to glue this over here on top of where this, the top of the stem is, and that's going to be how we're going to hang the wreath. It's not beautiful guys, so that's what's going to happen there. I just wanted to tell you what that was for. And then let's get over here to to the arrangement that we're going to use, which looks like a swag, guys. It's going to wind up going right up here. And we're going to go ahead and continue embellishing this part down here so that you can't see where that ribbon ends. So what I did is I took a sprig of the boxwood. I put one on this side, one on this side. I'm not really sure what this one here is called, okay? I kind of cut them right off the stems, put one on this side, one on this side. And then these sunflowers in the white with the brown uh, circles on the inside. This, uh, this also came from the Dollar Tree. So the only thing that didn't was the boxwood. Okay. I tied that. And that is what we're using to embellish the top of this pumpkin. And I think that's absolutely gorgeous, guys. I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of this 
twine. Now I also made a bow, so we're also going to be embellishing with a bow. I'm going to use this to tie that swag down and then we'll glue it down. So we're going to tie it down and then we're going to glue it down. So in between the swag, I'm going to swing this little piece of jute twine. Okay. I'm just going to tie it just once. Okay. Then we're going to come over here to the stem. All right. Let's just do that like this. And we're going to tie a knot. Guys, we're going to tie it, tie a knot, and then we're going to turn around and glue it down. I think that works the best for me. Whatever, guys, however you want to tie it down. I already have the swag together, so the only thing really is just tying it down. Once it's tied down, then we can go ahead and glue it down whichever way we want it. Like, actually, I think this looks nice, too. I... You know, sometimes I just try different arrangements. I just want, I, I did want it originally this way, so I am going to go ahead and do the video this way, okay? But you can pretty much, when there's florals, you can pretty much um, arrange it in the way that you like it, okay? This is pretty, so we're going to go ahead and leave it there. Now I'm going to start gluing those stems down, okay? So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put some hot glue back here, and then lay this part down. So we're going to do that all the way around here. So you can't even tell. All right, and we're going to come here. Okay. This is coming out so beautiful. Okay. So now we have that side. I think we're pretty much done. Look how beautiful that is so far, guys. Look at that. So I'm loving how that looks. Let me go ahead and do that down. guys I'm just waiting for that glue to dry so we added the burlap bow over here that also has the buffalo jack the only other thing I wanted to do to this and I think this came out absolutely gorgeous guys is just add a couple of pine cones along the edge of here here and then here okay and then we we also have some cinnamon pieces in here so let's see how that goes so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did click like share comment below i um i'm absolutely loving this craft guys uh don't forget to click on the um on the notification bell after you subscribe because some of you are getting notified some of you aren't 
so you can know every single time I upload a video, guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.